Hi everybody, this is Natasha Wilkinson, your Independent Sensi Consultant from Mount Isa, Australia. Welcome back to my channel. So, today I've had this box for a few days. I am going to go through a very special box. As a consultant, we get the opportunity with certain collections to get our hands on them a little bit early for making testers with, for making samples with, for trying ourselves and for basically our marketing. So we can get them before they're released to the general public so we can do what we need to as a consultant. And one of those kits that we get the opportunity to get early is a scent of the month kit. Here in Australia, we get once every three months a warmer of the quarter, and then every month we get a scent of the month. So this scent of the month kit is actually the scent of the month for June. So this particular scent will be available from the month of June. But as a consultant, I can get my hands on the scent of the month a month early with a special kit and that kit contains eight bars of our scent of the month and if I can get it at the bottom here some rub and stiff some rub and sniff stickers that we can basically send out to customers so they can get their hands on maybe a little preview of what the scent of the month is all about. So let's talk about June scent of the month, shall we? So we have a different scent of the month to both region two and region one this month. And normally if we have the same scent of the month as region one, I can steal their flyers and get a full breakdown of top, mid and base notes because we tend to get a much more condensed printout on our workstation. We don't get full flyers with just a basic description. So I will read you the basic description and then this is the flyer. I will try and work out maybe just based on the pictures what I think might be the top mid and base notes. I could be totally wrong because I'm just going off a picture rather than the full description that Sensi give in Region 1's flyers. So our scent of the month for Region 3 is pomelo and sea salt. So it is described as vibrant pomelo sparkles over violet water with a sprinkle of sea salt. This one, I don't know if I'm going to like or not. I haven't smelled it yet. So I'm doing a first sniff with you guys, but generally I'm not drawn to salty sea air notes, which I can't, and I'm not drawn to citrus. And I'm kind of thinking this is going to be a citrus salty sea scent. So if I were to look at the pictures, it's got in the top notes, a citrus fruit, which I am gathering is the pomelo. And then it's got in the base note, in the mid notes, what looks like pictures, if I show you the pictures again, with what looks like lemons, apples, and that violet leaf. So it looks like it's got some type of other fruit other than just pomelo in the mid notes, along with the violet leaf. It looks like it's got another citrus and it looks like it's maybe got a little bit of apple to brighten it up. The top note also has the picture of the sea salt. So the top note you're gonna, I'm guessing, look at the picture, by the looks of the picture, you're gonna smell a lot of that citrus, a lot of that salty sea note. The mid notes are probably gonna have that little bit of apple, that violet to try and smooth it out. And then the bottom notes have what looks like a woodsy note, like a musk or an amber, the symbol that they use for the musk or amber. So I'm thinking there's a woodsy note also in here, maybe a driftwood, a musk or an amber to try and again tone down the sharpness of the, 
and the bite that you can get from citrus and both seeds. So let's take a first look and see what I think of this, shall we? Okay, it's sweeter than what I thought it would be. It's almost a little bit perfumey. That's surprising me. me. I was expecting something a little bit more sharper, a little bit more biting. But this is like a very perfumey, musky, fresh scent. And I'm quite enjoying it. I was thinking I would not like this one. I don't know that it's overly strong. Smells like it's going to be a mid performer to me. Be a good bathroom laundry scent. I can get a little bit of that C note, but then there's this musky perfume kind of mask in it as well. So it's fresh. It's slightly sweet, but it's nowhere near as tart or as bitter as what I actually imagined this scent to be. It's actually quite pretty. So that is pomelo and sea salt. So I will be intrigued to get back into the warmers to see if more of that citrus comes out, but I don't think I'm smelling this citrus per se. As I said, I'm smelling a fresh sea note in the background mixed with like this musky, almost fruity sweet perfume. So that is very, very interesting. And I am pleasantly surprised. So what are your thoughts on your scent of the month in your region? Would love to know. I'm going to sign up now and I I'm probably going to put this in the warmers at some stage during this week and check it out. So until then, bye for now.